Tonight, a most disturbing story because it involves teachers, a father and son, now both accused of something that infuriates parents and everybody else. Yeah, the elementary school teachers, a 65 year old and his 24 year old son, arrested for downloading and viewing and possessing child pornography. They are both teachers at a school in Rochelle Park. The father is also Borough Council President of Tenafly, New Jersey. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. Which is very concerning because I also have two little ones in the school. We spoke to a few parents whose children attend Midland School, the elementary school where 65-year-old Jeffrey Grossman taught and his son, 24-year-old Stephen Grossman, was a substitute teacher. Parents finding out Thursday that father and son were arrested, accused of viewing, downloading, and possessing child pornography. Parents tell us the elder Grossman accompanied their children on a class trip to Washington, D.C. back in May. He confiscated their phones every night, so my fear now is... He looking at my kids pictures, my girls in their bikinis. I told her do not let anybody touch your phone. I will deal with it when you get home. Nobody goes through your phone. These mothers live it wanting to know more about the timeline of the investigation by the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Specifically, were the Grossmans allowed to be around children while investigators were looking into their Internet activities? They were in D.C. In, in May. So was this going back far then? How was he able to take them to leave the state? Besides teaching, Jeffrey Grossman serves as borough council president in Tenafly. Tenafly Mayor Mark Zinna released a statement that says, in part, I think it is in the best interest of the borough that Mr. Grossman steps down in order that the people's business can continue uninterrupted and without distraction. Rochelle Park superintendent says, in part, of the Grossmans, they are prohibited from coming to the school for any reason and are prohibited from contacting any student or staff. Both Grossmans were in court today. An attorney for the elder Grossman entered a plea of not guilty on his behalf. They are both back in court next week.